Well, there's a whole lot of, uh, you know, focus that should be on that because uh, I remember the first um, No Horn Day in Lagos uh, that I witnessed uh, coming around. It's, um, <laughs> despite the Enlightenment campaign. People would still bled their hearts. People. All right, we'll look forward to a greater day. The winner of the first ever Big Brother Nigeria, Katung Aduak, is set to release his first movie titled Heaven's Hell. It is a psychological drama based on the true life story of two friends and their husbands. Theophila Salama has more in this report. I'm going to marry your husband. The film, which was inspired by a true story, tells the story of two housewives whose bond of friendship I'm seems sure unbreakable, but is filled with deceit and betrayal in the midst of the darkness that hovers above their relationships with their spouses. So Heaven's Hell is here to talk about issues that are affecting everyday people. That's, even if you're not affected, you know somebody that's affected. That means you're indirectly affected. So we hope that Heaven's Hell is able to get people aware of situations. Even if they don't understand that they're going through abuse, Heaven's Hell will highlight the fact that this is abuse. Heaven's Hell deals with these issues, real everyday issues that families are facing but can't talk about. We find it that people, are, they have a silence culture here. You go through stuff, you have to keep quiet. If you speak up, people shame you. And so the mindset was that it's time for us to start telling our stories. Joining me now is a screenwriter, Tain Ikbe Etim. It's nice to have you join me right now. Thank Tain, you. Tain. 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 All right. <laughs> I have love for African names, I must tell you. All right, now talk to us about this movie. It's already released, and uh, what, what's, the, what's the theme? What's the idea behind the movie? Well, the idea behind the movie is really speaking up about abuse and about our silence culture. You see, it's a true life story, and so it, it took a lot for the owner of the story to say, okay, tell the story, but we had to keep the identity secret. And then, you know, we have to speak about these things. The idea is also about friendship. Um, whatever we go through in life, it's important for women to support women. It's important for people to support people. So whatever you're going through, you have people supporting you, it's easier to come out through stronger. And that's the idea. So yeah. what has been the impact so far when, when, when this uh, movie was released between that, th that time and now? Oh, it's raised a lot of conversations, important conversations. So, you know, the thing about um, the issues we are facing is people tend to keep quiet a lot. The shame culture, as, as we call it, the silence culture, they shame you when you speak about these things. But now people are asking questions, people are speaking, or people are saying, wow, this is really happening. In fact, this can happen. So this actually happened and people are asking questions and people are speaking and saying, wow, well, we need to, we need to do something about this. And I think that's what's important about film. Well, what do you expect to uh, see at the end of the day with this movie? Um, we expect that um, women can have a voice. Yeah. We expect that women can have a voice. I think it's important for people to realize what film can do to the mindset. I remember growing up, and being affected extremely by the media. We don't know how much it can affect you. I remember when watching Nigerian films and seeing, um, I would see a typical scene where um, a woman would have wronged her husband and he would send her out of the house. Every time I would see the scene, the following scene, I would see the woman, you know, homeless, hanging, begging the man, trying to get back in. And I always told myself, I will always have an option. I won't find myself homeless. So you could see different scenes that like can affect people really deeply. And now we're seeing that, okay, men are even saying, oh, I didn't even know this thing was abuse. I shouldn't do this. All right, so, so beyond the entertainment of watching a movie, we need to get the lessons. Oh, definitely, and imbibe definitely. All of those, okay? Definitely. Uh, team, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. All right. Moving ahead now, the winner of the first ever Big Brother Nigeria, Katung Eduak, is set to release his first movie. In fact, it's released the first movie titled Heaven's Hell. And it's a psychological drama based on the true life story of two friends and their husbands. Heaven's Hell is a film that intends to help fight domestic violence against women and children. John and May is a screenwriter. It's good to have you join us this morning. Thank you so much. So let's talk about Heaven's Hell. Hell yes. I mean, that name itself is uh, ironical. It's a mixture. So tell us about this movie. Um, yes, it, the name is ironic because we're, what we try to do is we show a perfect world and then we show how on, beneath the perfect world there's a lot of imperfections that you don't expect to see. So sort of hell in a person's heaven. 
So that's what we do with the film. And then the themes we focus on in the film are friendship and domestic violence, mostly. All right, so how does this film hope to tackle the issue of domestic violence? Because it's very rampant in the society today. Yes, um, what we're trying to do with this film was, um, we're trying to do something different. You know, we grew up watching women in films and there's this concept of the good woman in Nigerian films. And the good woman is the one who stays with the cheating husband, who stays with the abusive husband. And so we're trying to show that you can be a good woman and not have to put up with all this. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So when you watch the film, you realize that you're not alone. But you know that the society has this uh, uh, picture of a, a, a good woman, like you have mentioned. Exactly. And if that woman doesn't fit into that, uh, do we call it a cubicle now? It's like she's an outcast. Yeah. And um, that's the thing. As storytellers, you know, as a writer, as, as a filmmaker, we are storytellers and we shape, we shape the society more than we know. So the society did not just appear. People created this society. And so what we're trying to do is recreate a new society where a good woman is not a bad woman. You're not good because you can put up with terrible things happen to you, you know. So you're good because you know when to walk away. You know what you deserve as a human being. All right, to achieve that, to believe that uh, both men and women have to be involved, so it's not something yes, that should definitely. be focused on just women. Exactly. So how do we get the men to be involved, even in this course? In the film as well, the men are involved. You know, we also show friendship with men. We also show how men can take responsibility. And in more stories to come, we're hoping that we'll tell more stories where, where, where we learn more about men. Men learn to, to not be abusive. And also men learn to check each other. You know, if, if a man has a friend who does a kind of thing to his wife, he's able to check his friend, you know, don't do that, that kind of thing. Stand up to each other. Believe all of these trainings have to start even from childhood. Uh, yes. Oh, you do pay to have you join us at Thank this time. Thank you. Thank you so much.